Battery scientists at Stanford University have discovered a really, really easy, very simple way to increase battery life by 20%. And it would take, in fact, you could add this solution to basically any battery pack. Doesn't matter who makes it or what the cells are. It's so simple, it's genius. Hello, my friends, welcome to the channel. On the Electric Viking, great to see you. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome back everyone else. If you'd like to buy shares of Tesla, BYD, or any other company right now, good time right now. I think it is, I've been buying. I'll put a promotion code to my stake account. Basically, if you buy, if you create an account on stake and you create a US trading account, you can buy BYD shares, you can buy Chinese shares, you can buy all kinds of shares on there. If you're in the US, New Zealand, the UK or Brazil, you can use my promotion code to get a free a free stock. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to buy any shares. You can get a free stock for basically for nothing. So I'll put that code in the description below. I'll also put my code to get a 10% discount on tickets at the Fully Charged Show in Sydney this year. I'll be there. I want to see you. So make sure you come along if you're in Australia or if you're in New Zealand. Guys in New Zealand, come, come too. Be great to see you as well. I'm, I'm really excited when I see better technology, which I know can actually work and isn't some sort of like fanciful pie in the sky idea. This, I believe, is one of those things that classifies as something that can really work and very, very easily be put into new batteries. Scientists at Stanford University have designed a new approach to make lithium ion battery packs last longer and suffer less from fast charging. So with this new technology, which is very simple and straightforward and inexpensive battery packs can essentially be fast charged and have a much much longer life so you can go to your tesla fast charging station or whatever fast charging station you use and not have to stress and think ah am i ruining my battery if i do this too much that's what i love about this that kind of feeling is not a good feeling to have this new study has shown how actively controlling the amount of electrical current running to every cell in a pack, instead of giving charge evenly, can reduce wear and tear. And this method enables every cell to live its best and longest life efficiently. The study was reported at the IEEE Transactions on Central Control Systems Technology Journal only, well, about two weeks ago on the 6th of November, 2022. As per Stanford professor and senior study author, Simona Onori, first simulations show that batteries regulated with this new technology could tackle a minimum of 20% more charge discharge cycles, even with quick charging or fast charging. And this puts additional struggle on the battery by fast charging your battery. Essentially, if you simply just fast charge your battery every day, instead of doing a charge at say your house, where you charge it at a slower rate, then the battery life will definitely be reduced. The more you fast charge it, the more your battery life will be reduced. That's a fact. Of course, newer batteries can handle this better than, other, than older batteries, but it still is, of course, an issue. So getting an extra 20% battery life is massive. I mean, for example, let's say your battery pack can give you 500,000 kilometers. This could potentially increase it to 700,000, which is insane, especially considering how simple this technology is. The majority of the early efforts to lengthen electric car battery life have worked and concentrated, focused on maybe the wrong thing, or maybe they were the right thing, but they weren't looking in this direction. They've worked on enhancing the materials, the design and the manufacturing of single cells themselves. But this depends on the premise that, like links in a chain, a battery pack seems only as good as its fragile cell. The new study starts with the knowledge that while weak links are unavoidable due to manufacturing imperfection, so you might have one cell that has a problem that can destroy part of the whole pack, right? But since few cells degrade quicker than others as they are exposed to stresses like heat, they need not bring down the full pack. The key is to customize charging rates to the special capacity of every cell to stave off failure of the complete pack. If not properly tackled, cell to cell heterogenites can compromise a battery pack's longevity, health and safety and induce an early battery pack malfunction. Our approach equalizes the energy in each cell in the pack, bringing all cells to the final targeted state of charge 
in a balanced manner and improving longevity of the pack significantly, said Simona Onari, study of senior author and assistant professor, energy science at Stanford University. The reason they actually came up with this technology is they were inspired to build a 1 million mile battery. Now, I personally believe that a lot of the lithium ion phosphate batteries coming out now can do a million miles, but why not add an extra 20% if you can? Part of the impetus for the new study goes back to a 2020 announcement by Tesla, the electric car company of work on a million mile battery. This would be a battery that has the potential to power a car for 1 million miles or more with normal charging, probably not fast charging, prior to reaching the point where, like the lithium ion battery in an old laptop or phone, the EV battery's life carries too little charge to be operative. Such a battery would surpass automakers normal warranty for electric batteries of 100,000 miles or eight years. Even though battery packs regularly pull through their warranty, consumer confidence in electric vehicles would be increased and strengthened, and maybe more people would buy an electric car, if costly battery pack replacements were much rarer. So this technology doesn't only extend the life of the battery, it makes it more likely you won't need to replace it. A battery that has the potential to still hold a charge after thousands of recharge could also relieve the way for the electrification of long haul trucks and for the adoption of alleged vehicle to grid systems. Here, EV batteries would store and transmit renewable energy to the power grid. Simona believes that it was later explained by Tesla that the million mile battery concept is not really a new chemistry, but a way to operate the battery by not making it use the full charge range. Associated research has concentrated on single lithium ion cells, which normally do not lose charge capacity as rapidly as full battery packs do. Onori and two scientists in her laboratory, postdoctoral scholar Vahid Azimi and Amaridu Alam, decided to examine how inventive management of the present battery kind could enhance the performance and service life of a full battery pack which might consist of hundreds or thousands of cells. As an initial step, the scientists created a high fidelity computer model of battery behavior that precisely portrayed the chemical and physical changes within a battery at the time of its operational life. Few such changes extend in seconds or minutes, while others may take months or even years. Simona said that to the best of her knowledge, no previous study has used the kind of high fidelity multi time scale battery model that she created. Simona ran simulations. Simona ran simulations along with the model in it, those indicated that a modern battery pack can be improved and regulated by embracing variations among its constituent cells. Anori and collaborators imagined their model being utilized to lead the development of battery management systems in the years to come and also that could be deployed in a simple manner in present vehicle and battery pack designs. In other words, this could easily be used in order to improve the battery management systems in current cars. Now the BMI, battery management systems in current cars have made huge improvements to battery life over the recent 10 years. Meaning, you know, look at battery packs like the battery pack in the Nissan Leaf. They were useless. Thermal regulation was terrible. And so therefore consumers had very little confidence, meaning the resale values of those cars were very low. But now that's dramatically changed due to much better thermal battery management. This is simply an improvement on the battery management systems already in cars. However, it's not just electric vehicles that stand to gain. Virtually any application that can stress the battery pack a lot could be a promising candidate for improved management informed by the new outcomes that's that Stanford University have discovered. One instance, drone-like aircraft along with electric vertical takeoff and landing, sometimes known as EVTOL, which some entrepreneurs believe will function as air taxis and offer other urban air mobility services over the coming 10 years. Now, essentially, Simona is saying that all you need to do to improve the battery life by around 20% and have much fewer batteries return for warranty or have battery problems that cause a battery pack failure is to change the way that energy runs to the cells. Essentially, Stanford University is wanting to work with battery companies, EV companies, in order to actually deploy this technology at potentially very low cost. 
So really, this is actually a groundbreaking discovery because it could lead to commercial applications within a very short time frame because it's just some small changes that need to be made. This is one of those studies where you go, you know what? Sometimes it's the small discoveries that make the biggest difference. Electric vehicle batteries are actually improving significantly every single year. Now, the naysayers will tell you otherwise, but I can tell you now they're wrong. For example, we've now seen Tesla Model 3 vehicles and Model Ys even, but particularly Model 3s, because they're the older version of the car, that have done more than 500,000 kilometers or more than 300,000 miles without ever being serviced or ever needing to touch anything in the car. With battery pack degradation at less than 15%. Now, of course, eventually those battery packs will need to be replaced. But my thinking is that battery packs like these with these kind of technology put into them may last for well over a million miles, meaning that once the car is you know, not really drivable anymore, you just take the battery pack out of the car and use it as energy storage. And with a battery pack that can last this long, it could be used as energy storage for more than 50 years. That's the future of the world, and it's a future worth living for, that's for sure. Thank you for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and have a great day. Bye-bye.